All right, hey YouTube, it is Anna, and today I'm making a video talking about my college expectations. This video is more towards my future self than anybody that's watching, but if you stumble along the video and you happen to be in college, let me know how off I am with these college expectations. All right, so my first college expectation is that my classes are gonna be super hard, and I feel like, I don't know, I guess I don't have any other choice but to do well in them, but it's not gonna be much fun. But, you know, it's college. I'm also majoring in biology, so I'm not expecting it to be easy breezy cover girl, but I am expecting it to be harder, so hopefully I can survive. My second expectation is that I'm gonna make a ton of new friends, which my brother has already told me that that's probably not gonna happen, but I don't believe him. Um, I do have a lot of people from my high school that are going to my college, so that's kind of easy, but I'm really excited to make new friends and like people from different places of the world and just like get really new perspectives and also keep my old friends, but also make a few new ones. I think that in college, I'll say no more than I'll say yes. And by that, I mean not like to like fun things, but just to like the things that happen in college, aka drinking drugs and alcohol, and I'm just not one of those people so I just feel like it's gonna be a lot of me saying no 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 and then the things I do say yes to should be fun but I feel like for a lot of people it'd be opposite but for me I know what my values are and where I stand and I don't really want to do that so yeah another expectation I have which is more a hope than an expectation is that people will be more mature and in that sense I just mean like I don't know more mature and more loving towards people and more accepting and that's what I'm kind of hoping for for college if not I also surround myself with those kind of people but just in general I'm hoping everybody grows up a little bit and we can all just be mature and like handle our stuff like adults even though we are adults but like we're still kids at heart my fifth expectation is that I will be more organized and that's another like more of a hope than an expectation but I feel like I can't survive without being organized so I'm really crossing my fingers that like I can really stick to it this year. Last year I did, actually junior year I did pretty well and the senior year was like, eh. But I'm really hoping I'm more organized. Future Anna, stay organized, yeah. Number six is that I'll become more passionate about my major, which is biology. I wanna be a pediatrician and I, right now I'm like passionate about it, but I'm scared so I'm hoping the more that I learn about my field and like the more I delve into learning that I'll just become really more passionate about it, more excited to do it and it'll make everything a lot easier. Cause when you're passionate about something, it's a lot easier to delve into it and give your all rather than something that you're not passionate. So that's what I'm hoping for and I'm pretty confident about this one. Number seven is that my style will change um, in a good way. I feel like my style is kind of all over the place, so I'm super excited to kind of get a style that's more, I don't know, that's like just different, something different. And I'm really excited to like explore fashion and stuff more. And so I'm hoping that by the time I finish college, this will be a whole different person. Number eight is that I will eat healthier, which I've kind of already tried to start during the summer, but um, I'm really not trying to get that freshman 15. So I'm really gonna try to eat healthier just in general. And I'm also living at home, so that shouldn't be too hard for me. But yeah, hopefully I'll eat healthier and just stay in shape and stay healthy. Number nine, like I just mentioned, I'm be living at home. So one of my expectations is that I'll barely be at home because I'm not the biggest fan of living at home, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I love my mom and my dad, I love them, but I am still a 17 year old girl who like wants to have fun, like explore. So I'm hoping that I'll barely be at home, like, you know, just every now and then, but we'll see about that. Also, I don't think my parents will like that one, but oh well. Number 10 is that I will read more books. And I really love reading books, but I just never have time. Okay, I have time, but I just ever invest the time in it. So I'm hoping that I can become more of a, uh, a book reader into college and just kind of delve into that more because I love reading. I just don't ever, like once I start, I get addicted to it, but it's all about starting. That's the hardest part. And number 11, the one that I kind of dread is that I'll try coffee. If you know me, I've only tried coffee once in my entire life and it was a black coffee and it was like, sixth grade or something and it was disgusting to me I just don't support the idea of coffee really like I don't like having to take something to give you energy like in my head it just didn't sit right but I feel like there are gonna be some late nights and eventually I'm gonna have to cave in and try coffee so maybe I'll become a coffee lover who knows I think people that drink coffee are always like so cute like they just like sip a little coffee and like go to Starbucks I think it's cute just not a fan of it so Maybe I'll try coffee, probably most likely, but we'll see what happens. 
All right, those are all my expectations for my college. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like me, subscribe. And I guess I will see you, whoever is watching this, aka me, in my next video. Bye.